Helford River expeditions. Kayak. Wicked. Plant a tree. And discover the most beautiful bamboo gardens in the country. If we look at this, this whole project, the whole idea is that people will come and they will experience what we have to offer on the health of the river. And at the same time, we, when they leave, they get to plant a tree, which will make this an even more, it's, it's not a greenwashing exercise. It's not um, a, a completely environmental exercise. What it is, is I hope that it encourages people to put something back in to what is an absolutely beautiful area. Take a walk through the gardens. <laughs> Down to the beach before casting off. <laughs> Helford River is an area of outstanding natural beauty and a site of special scientific interest. Safety is important to us at Helford River Expeditions. Taz has to wear a life jacket, so everybody has to wear a life jacket, hey? Me and Lauren both wear it. Hey? Me and Lauren both wear it. Yeah, of course you're both rowing. What size are you in there? All right. All visitors are given a safety briefing by a fully qualified kayaking instructor. It's time to go and explore. We have kayaks and sit on top canoes for all the family. Trips are suited to different abilities, with stops at nearby beaches and coves. What do our budding kayakers think? Really, really good. Oh, it's really fun, yeah. It's, it's quite challenging because your arms it like, hurts sometimes. So, yeah, it's really, really fun. It's really exhilarating. <laughs> well, it's just the best way to be on the water because I go swimming quite a lot. But at this time of the year, it's, you don't really want to go swimming. So it's just, yeah, I think it's the best way to see the, see the landscape and, yeah, just to be on the water and not get too cold and, yeah. Great. I think certainly within this area, it's a beautiful area, and there is a lot of um, unusual wildlife that you can find here. And it's certainly something that would be worth doing with your family and young children and so on. So yes, I think it'd be a great venture. Yeah. 
After a day on the water, come and explore Carwinian Gardens. This is Carmen. She's a statue that's been carved by Peter Boex, who's a local sculptor. Um, she's actually made from sweet chestnut. The tree itself is up there. She, the tree fell down this time last year. It was a 60 foot twin trunk sweet chestnut. And she went straight through this lot here, knocking everything down in the process. Hilda's a statue, um, a sculpture that was carved um, in concrete and um, she was carved by a, a, a sculptor called Ray Atkins in the 70s and we were given her about three years ago to stick in the garden. Um, we're surrounded by bamboos which are all of, all of which are very famous in, in Carwinian which is probably the best garden in Cornwall if not England four bamboos. This is called Caseanum. This is a Bambozoides, which is uh, Philostatus Bambozoides Castellonis Inversa. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> the, there is so much that this area has to offer and has to give. Um, and, and if people plant a, a tree when they leave, I'm sure that that will give something back to the area as well. And so they'll want to come back in future years and future generations to see how their tree is getting on, to see the area and what, what's happened with the area. And I think that that will also make people respect the area. It's something a bit memorable. Wicked. Job's a good one. There we go. Brilliant. Job done. Helford River Expeditions, come join us.